Let's play around with text in P5. All we have to do is go into our draw function and call a text function. In the first parameter, write whatever you feel like writing inside the quotes. Then, you just have to specify where you want the text to go, and bam! There it is. That's it. We're done here. Have fun. Just kidding. Let's get a little deeper. See how all the text within these quotation marks is turned green? That's because we've turned it into a string. Strings are a data type, like any other variable, that represent a string of text. If, for example, we have a particularly long string of text, we can assign that string to a variable and it becomes easier to manage. Once we have variables that can represent strings, we can start to do all kinds of fun stuff. If you create two variables, each representing a string, and then add them to each other inside your text function, it'll print both of them in order. You can even add non-variable strings back into the function if you want. This process of combining elements is known as concatenation. If you want spaces, don't forget to add them into your strings, or you can add them directly into the function as strings of their own. Just for fun, let's add another layer of complexity. Say you want to do something like create a random name generator. We'll use arrays for this. Arrays are another data type, but unlike most variables, they can store a whole list of information. Let's create a list of first names and then a list of last names. Just a few to start with. Now, we can reference specific parts of that list like so, by adding it into our function and specifying which item in the list we're talking about. Notice how P5 displayed the second item on my list, even though I used the number 1. That's because arrays count upward from 0. Now we make it random. Before we do anything else, let's create two more variables, first name and last name. We'll come back to those in a second. There's two ways to do this, the older, more difficult way and the newer, easier way. Let's do the old way first. Within your setup function, create a variable called index. We'll set it to a random integer between 0 and the length of our array. Then, we set first name to the item index within the list. Once we load it into a draw function, it should now write a different name every time we press play. That's a lot of steps. We'll make it easier on ourselves with the last names. All you have to do is set last name equal to a random function, with last names inside of it. This literally does the exact same thing as the other thing we did. Now we just combine the two. All that's left is to add some more names to the list. Get real weird with it. Spend way more time than you need. Spiral into madness. And there you go. There are all kinds of fun things you can do with strings. Play around a bit. Have fun.